I love a good camera bag. I mean, some of the earliest content on this channel was focused on camera bags, and since then I've reviewed a number of camera bags from different makers and different styles, and today right next to me I have a brand new one from AmbitionM. This is the Memento Backpack, and it should be up on Indiegogo around the time of this video launching. So if you want to check out more details, I'll have a link for that, of course, down below. But for today, we're going to talk about my feelings after having used this bag for about a month or so. I feel like I got a good feel for it. So we're going to take a look at all that it has to offer, and along the way, I'll talk about the things that I liked and the things that I didn't like. So let's get into it. Hey, I'm Scott and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we do all kinds of unboxings, tutorials, test reviews, anything photo and video related. So if you like today's content, please do consider hitting that little subscribe button below the video and make sure to turn on the bell icon to get notifications when new content is uploaded. So for those of you who just want a quick and clear cut, do I or do I not recommend this camera bag? I will say straight up front, yes, I absolutely do recommend this camera bag. Of course, I'm not sure of the pricing yet. Uh, again, if you want to check it out on Indiegogo, check the link in the video description and there'll be more information on pricing. And of course, you can see all the things that this bag has to offer on that page as well. But it will depend a little bit on the pricing. However, as long as it's reasonably priced compared to the competition, I think this is going to be an amazing bag and it will really, really hit the sweet spot for a lot of people. For those of you who want to see it in a bit more detail, actually hands-on. I think the easiest way is going to be to go through this uh, from the outside in feature by feature and just talk along the way about the things that I liked and the things that I didn't like. So let's get started. All right, so to start off, the front of the bag has absolutely nothing on it besides this design here and their name. You know, it is what it is. The material actually I found does show its dirtiness a little bit. Um, you know, you got some dirt down here. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but just from putting it down in the ground, of course, this is a rear access bag, so you do have to put it down in the ground to open it up which means that all that dirtiness is gonna show up pretty clearly, I think, on the surface here. But I believe this material is water resistant and it does feel durable, so you know, no quality issues or anything like that. If you turn it over to one side, you can see that they have these straps here with these loops where you can you know, maybe slide something through there or you can uh, hook something onto there, so you got some attachment points. And you also have two straps down here that you could use to hold onto the legs of a tripod, for example. You can adjust them, uh, you can unclip them. Of course, everything feels really nice quality, of course, you know, the straps, the clips, everything, nothing wrong whatsoever, but I am a bit disappointed that there's no pocket or anything here that you could use for a water bottle or a drink or something like that. I personally would also prefer that way of carrying a tripod in the side to have the foot slide into one of the pockets and then a strap to hold the top section in. But anyway, you do have some flexibility with how you can carry stuff on here, just not a water bottle. Looking at the other side, we have two zippers and the top zipper here is just for a little pocket. Uh, and it, you know, it's exactly the size that you can see here inside of there. I just have some you know, random stuff, but there's a little mesh elastic pocket that you can fit. This is not super deep. So what you're gonna put in here is gonna have to be sort of flat, um, but you know, you could put some little accessories, maybe lens caps, things like I have. I always bring you know, bags of tissues with me, especially since it's allergy season now. Um, those things can slide in here and uh, you can have quick access to them right on the outside of the bag. The bottom zipper here is to get quick access to the inside of the bag, so you can access your camera quickly, you can put it away, take it out quickly. I'm just gonna put this bag on real quick so I can show you how that works in action. Uh, you're just gonna obviously uh, swing it over to the side here. You're gonna unzip that, and then you can just reach in and grab your camera. So here I have the Canon EOS R uh, with the uh, 16 to 35 millimeter f4 lens on here, which this is a mirrorless camera, but the body itself is pretty much the same size as a DSLR, like the 5D Mark IV, so. Uh, it fits in here just perfectly. Let me put this down. But the opening size here is pretty much exactly the right size for a body like this, for a typical DSLR uh, or mirrorless camera. So you can get that in. It's a little bit tight this way, but it does fit um, and you can slide that in, no problem there. And you can have access to that very, very quickly. And I also want to note too that I have used some bags where the bag body itself too is a little bit squishy, a little bit flexible. And when you swing it over like this, the bag actually flexes and it makes it a little bit tricky to reach in there and pull something out. This bag does a good job, I think, of holding its form. Uh, when you open up this door, you got nice, easy access to a, you know, appropriately shaped door, I guess you could call it. You know, nothing is flexed and getting in the way. You can reach in there and pull out your camera pretty easily or put your camera away pretty easily as well. I think they did a good job here with this side access. I might as well mention here too that all these zippers are YKK zippers. They feel very tough and rugged. I'm not worried about the zippers breaking uh, or wearing out over time. They are good quality as is the rest of this bag. Spoiler alert, everything here materials wise is top notch. There's nothing in the bottom of the bag and the top of the bag just has a grip here for uh, picking it up. And there is like a little bit of a rubberized texture to this here. Feels good, nothing special. Uh, let's go ahead and get onto the back of the bag. Now looking at the back of the bag here, it looks quite busy, but of course we'll go through this one by 
one, you've got your shoulder straps, which are very well padded. They feel comfortable. Um, I've actually felt like overall this bag was incredibly comfortable, even when it was quite heavy. Uh, and I guess the shoulder straps are to thank for that. Uh, you've got some loops here and some little um, plastic loop thing. I'm sorry for my super uh, non-specialized terminology here, but I like having these things on shoulder straps because if you're using something like a Black Rapid Backpack Breathe Strap, which needs to hook into that, if you don't have that on your backpack, it means you can't use that strap. So uh, that is good to see here. It just allows for versatility with uh, more accessories. Then here you've got your chest strap. And I actually do have a couple of small complaints about this chest strap. One is that it is not removable. You can adjust the position of it uh, with a pretty wide range so that we can get it somewhere that's gonna be comfortable for you but you cannot completely remove it. So it's always gonna be hanging there. And I personally uh, would rather completely remove it just to do away with any hanging straps when I'm not using it, but you cannot. And also it's not elasticized. I have used backpacks before where this was a little bit elasticized, so that way it does flex with you as you move a little bit. Um, whether that's you know gonna bother you or not, uh, is up to you, but I thought it was worth mentioning. One other thing I want to mention about these shoulder straps is that you can see they are attached here to the part of the backpack which opens because the entire rear of this bag does open. Now, I find that great for two reasons. One is that when you open this up, you get complete access to your gear. Again, I've used some of these bags with rear access that only open, you know, and they have a little bit of space around it and it's not a huge deal, but this does completely open, so you have absolutely nothing blocking you from seeing and accessing all of your stuff inside, all the way edge to edge. The second thing is that when you open this up, of course, these straps which are attached to the back are going to move with that and flap open with that, which means that when you're looking through the inside of the bag, you don't have to fight these straps to grab stuff from the inside of the bag. You're going to get, again, a nice clear view of what's inside the bag with nothing interfering whatsoever. As a note there, I was a little bit worried that, you know, the weight of the backpack pulling on these straps would accidentally open the bag when you're carrying it around because it is attached to the part which opens, but this bag does not open from the top down. It actually opens to the side like a book, so there's no problem whatsoever with that. Moving down to the bottom, we have this waist strap here, which has kind of two slightly padded sections on the side with a strap in the middle that will connect them. Um, and they also do have, as you can see here, a zippered pouch on either side. Now this pouch is actually a pretty decent size. It does have some depth to it. Um, you could put, you know, maybe lens caps, batteries, things in here that you might want to access quickly. Um, and I think that's a really great way to utilize space that usually is just kind of wasted, I guess you could say, on bags that don't have that. Also, as you can see here, this does go through the inside of the bag and it's held in place by Velcro on the inside, but you can completely remove this if you choose to, if you don't want to use it, um, which is nice. So the chest strap is not removable, but the waist strap is, so you can customize it for however uh, you, you want to use the bag. But uh, it does add a bit of, of course, comfort, but also functionality with these pockets on the side. So I personally actually have been using it where I don't usually use waist belts on my bags. Now looking at the back of the bag, it's pretty typical. You got some padding for comfort, you've got space for breathability, and of course this material Material is also breathable itself as it is on the inside of the waist strap and the shoulder straps and you do have a velcroed uh, in place strap here for putting it over some luggage or a rolling uh, camera bag now like I said this opens from the side like a book and that actually has taken a little bit of getting used to I'm always kind of searching for where the zippers are but right now I have them here so we'll just go ahead and zip this open and you can see it just opens up just like that. So let's take a look at the inside of this bag now. On the left side, we have your organization for things like your computer, a tablet, um, maybe little batteries or uh, memory cards, things like that. And let's take a look one by one at what's included here. First of all, the largest section is a zippered pouch for a laptop. I'm gonna grab my computer. I have here a 15 inch MacBook Pro and let's go ahead and slide it in here. It does fit and the zipper does close. Uh, it's pretty much at the max, so a 15 inch, I think it's 2015 MacBook Pro, is gonna be the limit of what you can fit in this computer pouch, but uh, that does zip close, so you don't have to worry about it falling out as you open the bag. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but the front section of this pocket for the computer is also padded. Otherwise, you have one large pocket here, two medium pockets and two smaller pockets, and the large and medium pockets are closed with zippers that do have some protection at the end here that kind of maybe will cover up that zipper and stop it from scratching stuff in the main compartment if you're concerned about that. Um, and while I did find that this is absolutely fine with the large pocket, it can sometimes uh, get to be a little bit annoying with these medium sized pockets just because if you're trying to put stuff in quickly, it's gonna block maybe a, almost half of that opening space. It is made from elastic though, so if you're using two hands, you can easily pull that out of the way and get access to the full width of that pocket. And then you have these two smaller pockets that are closed with Velcro. 
just simple pockets. That's a good size though. It's a little bit larger than, you know, just a memory card. So if you have your memory card inside of one of those little plastic cases that they usually come in, you should be able to fit that in here, no problem. Now over onto the main compartment of the bag, you can see that there is this mesh net here, which means that if you maybe forget to close your bag, you close it up like this, but you forget to zip it and somebody picks it up, you do not have to worry about all of your gear falling out onto the ground has happened to me before. As you can see though, it does mean that it's gonna take a few extra seconds to open this up and access your gear. So you not only have to open the back of the bag, but then you have to unzip this. Uh, but they did make up for that by making this mesh section completely removable. So if you don't wanna use it, if you just want quick access to the inside of your bag, take this out, throw it aside and no problem. But if you want to make sure that you have the maximum amount of protection, if you are worried about somebody picking this up and spilling your gear all over the place, you do have that net as an option, which I think is a really great way to kind of just make it work for wh whoever, make it work for whichever style of person you are. On the inside of the bag, you can see that they do include a rain cover with this, which comes in a nice little pouch for storage. And I honestly don't really go out in the rain much, so I never use these. So gonna throw that aside too. And I do have a bunch of dividers over here that I took out because they include a lot with this bag, which is great. It's awesome that they include so many. So if you have a bunch of small lenses or small accessories, you can divide that all appropriately. But for me, this was basically what I was using. So I didn't need these and I have four extra in addition to what is in here. One very good thing here that I do wanna point out, which might be a little bit hard to see on camera, is that the Velcro for these dividers is very, very strong. It holds itself in place very, very well, which means that even when you remove this camera, you know, from the side, you're taking it out, you're putting it back in and you have other gear in there, the weight of that other remaining gear is not going to push these dividers out of place. So that way, when you go to put your camera back in, everything is all jumbled up and you have to move it around to fit your camera back where it originally was. If you take this out, even if you have other cameras and lenses and other stuff up here, it's all gonna stay in its place which is really, really great. I've again used bags that have uh, really weak Velcro and when you take something out, put it back on and walk around for five minutes, you go to open it back up again and everything is all messed up and you have to reorganize things, put the Velcro back where it is and it just it's really hard to put your gear back away quickly. Even if it has quick access on the side or whatever, it doesn't matter because it's not quick anymore. Every time you take something out, everything is gonna shift out of place. Not a problem here at all, which huge success for me. So as you can see, they have a few of these larger dividers which can bend in a few places that allow you to you know, set it up some different ways for different cameras and lenses. I actually haven't moved much from the original way it was set up when I got it besides you know, removing these things that I didn't need. Um, and it's worked out really great for me, but of course you can customize it however you want. This section here is something that you're probably gonna wanna keep more or less as it is because this is where you get side access. So you're gonna want the body of your camera and a lens. Usually that's gonna be the reason for buying a bag. Like this is quick access to a camera that's already set up and ready to go. I've been using this space here for something like the uh, Atomos Ninja V and monitor, or even just some other accessories depending on the shoot that I'm on. In here I always put some batteries or memory cards or uh, filters or something like that. I just have a little bit of extra space because most of the lenses that I keep on my camera are about this length and I do have a little bit of room to spare, but this is basically worked out for a range of lenses. This is again, the 16 to 35. If I have the 24 to 105, those are both kind of my walking around lenses. So if I'm using a quick access bag like this, those are usually the lenses that I have on my camera and it fits perfectly. In terms of height, you can see here that it's about the height of a non-gripped body. So if you have a gripped body or something larger like the Canon 1DX, then it's probably not gonna fit in here. This is gonna be for your more standard style DSLRs. Again, this is the EOS R. You can use the 5D Mark IV, uh, any, any standard size uh, camera with it but again if you have a larger body it's not going to fit in here for lenses with something like this canon 85 millimeter lens i can fit that in here standing but that's pretty much the limit of the height of a lens that i would be able to fit uh, so just in my hand here you can kind of see how big this lens is for a longer lens like this this is the uh, canon macro 100 millimeter lens if i stand it up you know it can it can kind of fit it's going to be close it'll probably close but i'd be a little bit worried about it especially if i have stuff in this side of the bag here so Usually with a lens like that, I would lay it down on the side, but still I can fit, you know, one camera here with the lens attached. I can fit another camera here with the lens attached. I can fit a monitor in here like the Atomos Ninja V, as well as some batteries and accessories, a, lo a longer lens laying down here, some shorter lenses, or again, some other arrangement or mix of uh, accessories and things like that. That's quite a lot to fit in this bag because it actually is not very large physically, um, especially when you're wearing it. It doesn't feel like a huge bag, but you can fit quite a lot in there. The final part we have here is this extra piece which will kind of hold your camera in place and protect it a little bit more from falling out. So again, if I put my camera in here, you can see this will just go down right over it and Velcro to the side so that way your camera does not fall out. It's a little bit extra protection. 
I personally don't like this. I've used other bags that just have Velcro straps that go over and that's done the job perfectly fine. With this, I find it to be too obtrusive um, and it just takes too long. If I lift up one side, it's still tricky to get out because it's covering it up here. So I have to lift up both sides of the Velcro, lift it up, hold it up, take my camera out and it just feels a bit too obtrusive and a bit too many steps for me. So again, you can obviously remove this, it's just Velcroed in there, but I think that just a simple strap that goes across here to hold things in would have more than done the trick. So all in all, like I said, this bag is not perfect, but I really enjoyed using it quite a lot over the past month or so, and I do definitely see myself continuing to use this bag on a day-to-day -day basis from here on. Um, I think as long, again, as the price point is reasonable, it's definitely gonna hit a sweet spot for a wide variety of users with a wide variety of styles of shooting. Um, it does a lot in a good compact package with good materials. Uh, it's well thought out, I think, in the way they designed it with just a few small misses, of course, but. Overall, this is a very well-rounded and complete quality backpack. So again, if you want to see any more details about the pricing or anything like that, check the video description for a link to the Indiegogo campaign. It will have a lot more information there at the time of the launch of this video. Uh, and if you have any more questions for me, let me know down in the video comments and I will do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, if you like this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to see more in the future. And as always, thank you for watching.